What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So what you want to do is you're going to have your first scene or your first clip is going to be this one and then you're gonna have a second clip is going to which is going to be this one and then you're gonna have another take here which is this clip here so all you have to do is find where you want to where you're okay with cutting it so i'm gonna cut it around here i'm gonna press b on the keyboard click once to split that clip in half these this one clip it's now two clips i'm gonna drag the clip to the left i'm gonna drag that up and to the left like that so now when i push play it's just going to smoothly continue, okay? Now, once you're at this point, select the clip that we just made our copy. And now what we're gonna do is go on to the compositing, go to blend mode and change the blend mode from normal and change that to linear dodge. Now it's going to look like this. Now we're gonna go into the color properties. So go to the, where it says no corrections. You can either choose any of these, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave it how it is. And I'm gonna go into the exposure tab. So you're just probably going to look like this. So head on over to the exposure tab. And then you're going to drag the shadows, midtones, and highlights, as well as a master to get the desired effect. So you want to replicate this one here. So what we can do is drag the shadows down, increase the highlights, and or sorry, increase the midtones and increase the highlights to make this a lot brighter. And then you can adjust the, the uh, master here to fine tune this. So now if I push play, this is the original clip, and this is the, the new one that we just created. So now if I push play, it's going to look like that, super clean. I personally like it like this. So now if I push play, looks like that. And you can also drag this to the left here if you really want to. Moving on to the second effect. This is not a plugin, just letting you know. It's a separate video clip, it's a green screen clip. So link will be in the description so you guys can download that and just import it into Final Cut Pro 10. And then once you drag the video in the timeline, the actual TV, it's gonna be a still. And then you're gonna have your music video here. And ideally you want this to be a still as well. You don't want it to be zooming in and out because then it will kind of defeat the purpose of, of doing this mask effect. And what you want to do now is drag the music video below the green screen. Okay, and what you want to do now is go into the effects, go down to keying and go to the keyer and drag that onto the clip. Now it's going to look like this, super cool. Now we want to animate this. Now since this video is a bit short, it's literally one second long, in like 10 frames so ideally you want this to be about around five seconds we're going to go into the bottom clip which is this one here we're going to go into the effects we're going to go to the stylize and we're going to go all the way down and we're going to go into the vignette drag that onto that clip so now we're going to have the blur amount i'm just going to leave it how it is and we're going to have size we're going to drag that around here and the fall off, we're gonna drag this all the way down. And this just allows you to create like that, um, kind of like that bowl effect. Before we start miss messing with the width and height, we're gonna select this. We're gonna go into transform and we're gonna make the clip a bit smaller so we can fit as much as we can in this TV. So perfect, click done. Now we can enable the vignette again. And now you can see that we have to adjust this. So we're not gonna darken this, maybe a little bit change the size of this and the fall off so once you're at this point all you have to do is select both of the clips right click and go to new compounds clip to group them together i'm gonna name this tv press enter and now all you have to do is go into the beginning of the clip go down to this down arrow go to the crop option go to ken burns and you're gonna have a green and a red select this the uh, green one which is the start go to the edges and drag that inwards to just the actual frame of the um bottom clip so we don't want to get the edges of the TV. So we kind of want to zoom in a little bit more. Right there is good. And then the red is going to show you what's going to happen after it zooms out. So if I click done and I push play, it's going to look like that. Super clean, nice and smooth. Like I said, again, this is only one second long. So the animation itself is a bit fast. If you have a video that's five seconds long or 10 seconds, this is going to be a lot, a lot slower and a lot smoother. So, but it still works amazing. Let's move on to the last effect. All right, so this last effect is going to be more of like a kind of frame in frame with a bit of flickerness. All right, so this is the main clip here. There's no effects at all applied to this video clip besides, you know, the camera moving and, and, and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold option and drag upwards to make a copy of the bottom clip and go to scale and just drag this all the way down to whatever size you think looks nice. Have it play for a couple of frames. I don't know, maybe 15 frames, depending how much movement is going on in your scene. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna press B on the keyboard to bring up the blade tool. 
press once and you want to make six uh, cuts to every frame great now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom and we're going to do that as well here okay great so if i push play we're going to have our six frames and then we're going to play it through a little bit and then right around here i want to make another cut as well and i'm going to make about maybe after two frames here maybe here there we go we're going to do maybe three or four so it's going to look like that and then do another one over here so just leave that one how it is we're going to work on that one um, last so we're going to start with the first bit of this effect so what we're going to do now is select the bottom clip this is the clip that's behind okay so we're going to select that now you want to go into the uh, the color corrections tab and then you can just change the color which is what i like to do so i'm going to do that really quick i'm going to go with a like a bluish color like this so we're gonna go into the effects we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna go to directional blur drag that onto the bottom clip here which is this one and now that we have that we're gonna go back to the video properties over here and we're gonna go into the directional effects and we're gonna change the angle to 90 degrees so press enter and increase the amount quite a bit so we're gonna drag this to maybe here like 81 or 80 and now we're gonna go back to the effects we're going to go down to the stylize option and now we're going to go into the film grain drag that onto the bottom clip this one here so we're going to make another copy of the film grain because there's not a lot happening here um, and we want to do realistic grain so once that's applied we're going to go back to film grain and drag that again on the same clip so you have two film grain effects applied and we're going to go to the style and change that to realistic grain so now we have this really cool effect going on here now that we have that applied, we're going to go to the top clip, which is this one here. Select that and move the playhead right in between that frame there. And you want to go into the effects and you want to go into the blur and you can go to directional blur or you can copy the same effect. So all I got to do is select the bottom clip, press command C, select the top clip, press shift command V to bring up the paste attributes. And this you can paste whatever you've, whatever you want from this bottom clip to the new one. And I want to copy everything except the um, color property or the color effects that we applied. So we're gonna click paste. So now it's gonna look like this. And that's what we want to happen. So once we're at this point, we can go into the di directional blur here and we can lower the amount a little bit, like maybe 30 or something. Okay, and now, now that we have that applied, we're gonna go back to the effects. We're gonna go to blur and we can add a prism blur and drag that on here. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. This is not, you know, you don't have to add this if you don't want to. But I think it looks kind of nice. So I'm going to leave it how it is. Now that you have all that applied, all you have to do is select both um, or select the top one. You actually have to select the top one. Uh, press Command C and select all the other top clips here, all the individual frames. Hold Shift, Command V, and press Enter. Once you've done that, it copied all the effects from this first clip. So you don't have to do it all over again. So select the bottom clip, press Command C. Select all the bottom, all the bottom individual frames. Hold Shift Command V and press Paste. Now all you did was copy all the effects from the first clip onto all of these frames. So that way you don't have to do anything else. Now that you have done that, you got to select the next frame, which is this one here. Go to the color board, just click on this triangle and just change the color. That's all you have to do. So maybe that's a little bit too harsh up here. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and go to like a pinkish color, purplish pinkish. And now I'm gonna select the third frame and I'm gonna change that to maybe yellow, maybe here. And now I'm gonna select the fourth frame and I'm gonna change that to like a red, like that. And then the fifth frame, I'm going to change that to maybe green, like that. And then the last frame, the bottom clip, which is this one, I'm going to change that to maybe, um, maybe purple or something. So now if I push play, and it's going to look like this. It's kind of like a strobe effect. Looks like that, super neat. Um, now, once you've done that, we're going to work on this last bit here. Just select both of these and press V. Um, actually, on, just do that for the first clip. So select the top clip, press V, skip a frame, and select the next one, press V. So now if I go back and push play, it just flickers. That's all it's really doing. And then it goes on here or you can disable this if you want. So you can do something like this, or you can re-enable it. Looks like that, super neat. So if we were to play it from the beginning and we render this out, and now if we push play, 
it looks like that. So if you found this video helpful at all, please leave a like, comment down below for any video ideas, and subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this one, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.